Okay. Okay, I'm gonna make a new file now um, in Animate. And we're gonna go over the topic of erasing lines only and using the line tool, okay? So um, the line tools are line and shape and the pencil tool. And I would recommend the pencil tool for what you need today, Matthew. And we'll grab a color that's, oops, come on, Wacom. Um, that's kind of like a blue with a black. So that looks good to me. Oops, I'm gonna switch up. So now I'm gonna grab the pencil and I'm just gonna draw um, that elephant shape that you were kind of working on. So there's the snout. So I'm not connecting and I've got also tons of points. I can see that this is not smoothed at all. And this is one of the things that as you draw, you need more smoothing. So this pencil options that I'm in because I'm in tool, you can up that. You see that this is like pretty shaky right here. Mm -hmm. If I were to um, click on the selection tool, you can see that there's a lot of points right there. So, but we can smooth this right now, or I could redraw, it just depends on what you wanted to do. If I hit K and I dump it, it's not filling because there's not a little, it doesn't look joined. So I'm gonna click on uh, close large gaps, which you get right in this area. And now it will fill. And then um, there's a couple ways that you can erase the line. You can go V and click on the line, which you might have to go double click to get it and then delete it. Or I'm gonna command or control Z that. You can also um, get the eraser tool and tell the tool to erase, the, see these are modes, eraser modes, erase lines. So I'm gonna bracket this up to show that I can erase just like this part of my line, right? And then erase that line, or if I wanna erase that line. But a lot of times I'm just double clicking to try to get as many of the lines as I can and then deleting it. So this is very wobbly what I have here in terms of a shape. So I can click on that black arrow tool and then hit the smooth tool and it's gonna smooth it way out. Now, when I hit the A tool, you can see that there's way less points. And these points I can get rid of by boxing over them and then hitting backspace or delete. Mm -hmm. And then kind of manipulating these points, Command Z. Getting rid of points, moving the points around, you know, um, pushing and pulling them. But you can also push and pull with the, I just hit V for the, the selection tool, right? Let's see how you can do that. Yeah. So now for your piece, you might want lines for the elephant snout over top of it. So we could do that. Um, and I would still use the pencil tool, but I'm gonna now put the smoothing way up and Kind of this kind of thing is what you're maybe kind of thinking, right? Mm -hmm. So now we've got our elephant with the tusk kind of out. So did I answer your question about erasing yeah. lines and getting yeah. rid of and yeah. So I can see here that when I'm zoomed in, there's extra stuff. So I would hit mm -hmm. A and I've just selected that. I can tell it because it's darker. Yeah, so, but you can also go in here and erase these lines by um, turning that erase mode onto erase lines and just erase the bottom part. Mm -hmm. And then I'm not erasing the fill that it is on. I can make this prettier. So um, other things that, um, that you can do for that optimization of points is clicking on it and then uh, that shape optimize and then optimize up. This, this already didn't have a lot of points. So it, it actually had a zero reduction, it said. So it was mm. just too simple already. Um, but 
Yeah, okay. that's erasing lines. You can you can paint selections. You can um, paint <laughs> fills. You can like the eraser also has those options, but painting also has modes which are like right here too. Okay. Paint normal fills, paint behind, paint selection, and paint inside. So, all right. All right.